Okay, uh, let's work another example, uh, a, a little more realistic obviously than the lottery example here. Let's talk about uh, what it looks like if you try to pay a loan off quack, quicker, not quacker, uh, if you try to pay a car loan off faster. So let's say you purchase a car for $25,000 and you amortize it over a five year period. Now remember that our, we may not have gotten here yet uh, if you're watching these in order, but uh, amortization is a type of loan, a type of structure of loan. We're gonna talk about it at the end of this lecture. Um, but it means that the payment in an amortized loan is always the same, okay? So we're gonna amortize the loan over a five year period. My payment is always gonna be $456 per month. Uh, so assume the car is fully amortized, and what that means is the loan is fully paid off at the end of the five-year period. What is my annual rate of interest? So what am I being charged by the bank on this loan if these are my payments? And what we want to know, or what we might be interested in is, well, how much would I save in terms of total money paid to the bank if I pay the car off in four years instead of five? Okay, And the answer can be relatively significant amount of money in terms of total interest paid. And it won't be huge in this particular problem because with car payments, the, the loan length is so small that I'm not paying that much interest overall. But the difference is really, really big when we're talking about something like a house. So if you have a 30 year mortgage that you try to pay off in 20 years instead of 30 years, you might save on say like a $200,000 house, you might save 70 or $80,000 in total interest paid just by trying to pay it off 10 years sooner. Um, so this kind of question uh, and, and the way that we solve this, this is absolutely applicable to your life. Uh, this is the kind of question that I do when I, you know, when I bought my house, when I buy a car, uh, the kind of thing that you hopefully will remember how or remember what to look for when you are doing the same thing uh, because this is a really valuable question for your personal finances, okay? So the way we solve this is we want to first solve for the rate, right? What is my annual rate of interest? What's my APR? Uh, now we're making monthly payments, so we're going to have to do some conversions. Uh, on a five-year period, we have a monthly payment of $456 per month. We have an N of five years times 12 months per year or 60 months. And the present value is the amount of the loan that we're getting, right? Which is $25,000, right? Oh, and our payment is a cash outflow, so it's gotta be a negative here, okay? So the amount, the amount of the loan is the cash inflow. The payment that I make back to the bank is my cash outflow, so that's my positive and negative. Now I'm gonna compute my IY and get 0.301. Now remember, this is per month because the period of the output agrees with the period of the inputs. What we want is my annual rate of interest. We want my APR. Again, that's what I'm always asking for in these problems is APR because that's what's required to be in the contract by law. So unless I, unless I specifically ask for the EAR, always give me the APR and the APR is easier just multiply by 12 if it's monthly or four if it's quarterly or whatever. Uh, and that'll give us our APR um, of 3.612% APR, uh, which isn't bad. Uh, although in the current market, the rates are considerably lower than that. They're like uh, around 2%. So uh, you could do a lot better in the current market. Now the question that we wanna see, that, that we wanna know is how much more would I have to pay per month in order to pay it off in four years, right? So if I wanna pay it off in four years instead of five, I'm gonna have a higher monthly payment. If I wanna know how much I'm gonna save overall to find the difference, I need first to need to know what the payment is uh, on a four year period. Uh, and so I can figure that out by changing my N, right? If I wanna pay it off in four years instead of five, I'm gonna have 48 months to pay off the car. Uh, I now know my IY, right? My IY on this loan that I have is 0.301% per month. And my present value hasn't changed. It's still $25,000, right? That's the amount that I borrowed. So now I say, okay, compute the payment. This is saying, if I wanna pay it off in 48 months instead of 60 months, how is my payment gonna change? Well, my payment, is going to increase to $560.10. So 
So I got to pay about $100 more a month in order to pay off the car one year sooner. And of course, we would say, well, why would I want to do that? And the answer is, is that you will save some amount of money off the total amount that you paid to the bank, where the total amount is the principal of the loan, what you borrowed, plus the interest that you're paying. If you pay it off sooner, you pay less interest. So let's see exactly how much that is. What we want to do is compare what we call the total cost of the loan. So we have the five-year total cost and the four-year total cost. And the five-year total cost is the monthly payment times the number of months. And we find that we pay 27,360. So we pay $25,000 in principal, another $2,360 in interest. Again, pretty good interest rate, not a lot of payments overall. So a short length of time and a low rate means we're not paying that much interest on a car. Uh, we would save some money at a four-year rate uh, in a four-year loan, so we would pay 560.1 times 48, and we would only pay 26,884.69. So we would save about $500, $475.30 um, in uh, interest saving. So we benefit a little bit. If we can afford the extra $100 a month, we're gonna save ourselves $500 over the life of the loan. Again, with a car, because of the, the low interest rate and the low borrowing amount and the, um, the small length of time that the loan goes on, this number isn't enormous. But again, like I said, in, a, in the scenario of a house, this number could be many tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, if you uh, if you are able to pay it off quicker. So there is a, a significant benefit to uh, doing these kind of calculations and and thinking about your personal finances in a way uh, in a in a, in a long-term way uh, so that you may be able to take advantage of saving some money like this.